Hello everybody and welcome back to Inspired Celeb and in today's brand new video we'll be talking about why the Hulu The Emilio Show will be a complete disaster. This will be a pretty interesting video so please make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more stuff like this and then hit the bell icon to be notified every time we upload. Also make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below and without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into today's brand new interesting video. In case you need a brief introduction here, Dixie Jane D'Amelio, known by her stage name Dixie, is an American social media personality and a singer known for her videos on the social media platform known as TikTok. Now, D'Amelio is the elder of the D'Amelio sisters, and she was born in Norwalk, Connecticut, and in 2020, she actually starred in the YouTube web series Attaway General. She has over 50 million followers on TikTok and hosts a talk show on YouTube called The Early Late Night Show. And in 2020, she signed a record deal with Hitco Entertainment and began releasing tons and tons of singles. And while most people know that basic info on her, there are even a few of her most avid followers that don't know about her upcoming TV show that will be coming out on Hulu. I mean, most everyone seems to be somewhat excited for, but many of her other fans seem to be downright confused, and some others seem to just be angry and think it will be a complete failure and a waste of time and money. Now, some think that she doesn't even need a TV show, as she already is famous enough, and her fans see enough of her life on her TikTok and other social media stuff. And to add to that, she already has an entire music career. I mean, on August 7th of 2020, she signed a record deal with L.A. Reid's label, Hitco Entertainment, and Forbes actually published a report in August of 2020 revealing that D'Amelio earned $2.9 million in the last year through June from her numerous sponsorship deals and merchandise, making her the third highest earning TikTok star. In December 2020, D'Amelio released her second single, One Whole Day with Wiz Khalifa, and while it was seen as a good song, a lot of people were just genuinely disappointed with it as they expected some more content to come out of it. Now, many of her other fans think that it will be as bad as Keeping Up With The Kardashians as well, which is a show about rich people flaunting their wealth and influence to essentially belittle others, and it all features The Kardashians, as most people know. Many people actually expect the same thing to happen here, but with the D'Amelios, and I personally do not blame them. I mean, if we take a look at the IMDb rating for the show Keeping Up With The Kardashians, we can see that over 27,000 people have rated the show, and it has a meager, and I mean a really meager 2.3 rating. Guess what? That is not out of 5 like most ratings. That is actually out of 10. That is absolutely terrible. A 23%. That is failing. People also think that it will be bad since they even mistreated their personal chef even back in 2020. Relatively recently, the D'Amelio sisters, aged 16 and 19 at the time respectively, created a family channel with their parents, Mark and Heidi D'Amelio. And among their content is a series of videos called Dinner with the D'Amelios, where each episode features a quote-unquote mystery guest. And the first episode aired on November 16th and featured makeup YouTube star James Charles. Now, to simply make a long story short for you all, the situation came to a head when Dixie found a snail in her paella, something that May described as an omen of good luck and fortune, and May's faces and gagging noises before trying it. And once she ate the snail, which is found traditionally in prepared paella, she turned away from the table and appeared to vomit without leaving her seat. Get up and excuse yourself, chastised her mother, and Dixie did happen to step away from the family's patio where she laughed about the incident before returning to the table, and the chef was simply very disappointed and upset with her because that was something traditionally prepared for the dish that he was from. Anyways guys, that is unfortunately all we have time for today, and thank you all so much for watching this video, and we really do appreciate your viewership, and please don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment something nice down below, and we will see you in the next video. Take care until then, and bye bye